Last week, he received the American Hockey League Award for Best Broadcaster in Hockey. This week, because of the All-Star break, Admirals and Tides play-by-play -play announcer Pete Michoud is finally getting a break until Ali Lucia got a hold of him. Ali? And here is the first pitch of the night coming at 16 minutes after 7. It's a little bit high for ball one. Chances are you've probably heard his voice a time or two. After all, he's been on the Hampton Roads airwaves since 1979. Uh, double duty has been for, well, I guess, six years now okay. since I've been with the Tides. Between the long hockey season and baseball's midsummer stop, the voice of both the Admirals and Tides, Pete Mishu, hasn't had much of a break this past year. Uh, no, there's been no downtime. My downtime is for about three weeks in September. The Tides have won the opening three in the series. They've won 10 of their last 13. But besides the long hours, Mishu says he wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, but, you know, the opportunity to, you know, watch professional baseball and watch professional hockey and, and get paid to do it and talk about it is a, a dream job for a lot of people. So far, 2012 has been pretty good for this broadcaster. First, he was a part of the Admirals' historical run all the way to a Calder Cup championship. From one, a long outlet. Here's a breakaway. Ponick in. He scores! Now that he's away from the rink, Michoud says he's enjoying summer's game. He even jokingly calls himself the Tide's good luck charm. Oh, they're doing great. In fact, I was joking with uh, Ron Johnson, our manager, on the uh, beginning of the last road trip because the, Admiral, or the uh, Tides, I should say, had not had a very good road record at that point. And then they win the first four games of the road trip. And, and I said, Skip, I'm your good luck charm. The man behind the booth is also quick to say he's not the only one who's had to pull double duty. We have other staff members you know, that work, you know, the Tides and the Admirals as well. I didn't expect the hockey season to go so long. Who did? And so usually, you know, we would have ended early April. The tides would have started up two days later after our last game. Regardless of whether he's inside scope or around at Harbor Park, Pete says this beats a real job any day. You know, uh, probably the next best thing to playing a game is to cover it. In Norfolk, I'm Allie Lucia for the Sports Wrap. The warning track looks up. That ball is off the top of the wall. Rounding third and heading Thanks, Ali. They are playing the 25th annual All-Star Game in Buffalo tonight. The Norfolk Tides had two players on the roster.